about 25 or 30 years ago, I came across this pop-up and I deciphered it and made a model and taught a bunch of kids how to, how to make it. Uh, so this is my model from, yeah, 25 or 30 years ago and it still works. You can see what it does is it's got this little mechanism that makes something come up from hiding. So in revisiting it, I made a brand new file. Well, not brand new. I never had a file because when I was first doing these, there wasn't something in my life. I'm calling it a popping up pop-up. That's not a very good name because all pop-ups pop up because, yeah. But that's how I remember it, and so that's what I'm calling it. I'm going to jump right into making it, but there's a lot of details I want to talk about. I'll save those to the end. So, um, so we're just going to get into making it. Uh, I've designed this so that it will fit on a half sheet of paper and I'll fold this in half and here it is folded in half. So what I'm going for actually is it fits into the card like this. Okay. So after I cut it out, um, I want to, I want to score on I want to make score lines on the dotted lines. The score lines, I hope you know, are uh, the fold lines. And I'll put this on a sort of a soft surface. Get a ruler, a straight edge. And generally I would use a pen that's dry, but I'm not doing that right now. And I'll just Create, a, create my score lines there just so you can see them so it's completely clear and this little 45 degree angle okay so I'm going to make these these all into mountain folds and this last one also becomes a mountain fold you can see that's you can see it's going to be hiding behind there. Now, that all I hope is pretty straightforward looking. What I want to do is I want to emphasize some things to make this work well. Uh, the first thing is I'm going to put glue on this. I'm going to put glue here on this first column, and also on the last column. The the second narrow column does not get glue. Okay, so these are just the two places that get glue. What's important about this to make it work nicely is that you definitely want glue right up here next to the uh, folded edges. It doesn't really matter if this gets much glue or not. Um, you want it up to the folded edges, but you don't want it to go over the folded edges. And we only start with one at a time. And I'm going to, and the one to start with is the one that's underneath this funny shape. Okay, so I'm using some white glue. You can use a glue stick. You can use whatever glue works for you. You can use a double-sided tape if you want. And I'm going to get that glue right there next to those fold lines. Like I said, I don't really care about the rest. And I don't want it to glop over, so I'll take a little bit of a little scrap and just smooth that out. The white glue I'm using is this uh, Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I really like it. Okay, so that looks good. Maybe they're still a little too gloppy. Okay, there we go. Now here, this is an important part. Um, I've got my fold line right there. And I'm going to, let's see, I can, I'll put this little top part down. And I'll take my, I'll make sure this edge right here goes right there and press it down. That looks good. I want that to dry a little bit before I move it at all. But there it is right next to the center. And then I'm, I'll fold this, I'll fold the other side. And you see there's two columns here, but only one of them gets glue. But they're both folded over. Same thing, I want the glue really close to that fold line. It's just not gonna work nicely 
but I don't get it there. And I don't really care, like I said, about the rest too much. You can do whatever you want. Again, I don't want it to be gloppy. So I'm just smoothing it out a little bit with a scrap piece of paper. And the way you get it so that it all lines up perfectly is you keep it flattened down. Like I said, I can see the two columns and then close on top of it. Okay. I'm going to open that up just yet because it's actually finished. Uh, but I'm going to let that dry for a minute so it won't mess up when I open it. And I want to tell you now what why I have these two little, why, why there's these little triangles here. So on this card, for instance, I wanted to have my background piece made of this dark blue paper. Well, this dark blue paper will not work well for me going through my copy machine. So what I have done is given you the option of cutting it out with those little triangles so if you want to transfer this to a paper that doesn't go through your copy machine very well you can put it on here okay put uh, trace it out and now I'm putting in those little lines this out too um, and what I'll do here is I'm not going to cut these little triangles instead what I've done and you can bar probably barely see them but they're there um, is let's see here's what the little triangles are okay what I'll do is I'll use those little triangles and I will make my score lines. Get something softer underneath here. So the little triangles will show me where my score lines are. And there's only one here, but it, that's okay because there's only one here because there's the line of the structure, and I'll just line that up with the with the triangle. Now we still have to put in this this 45 degree angle and that's what the little square here is for. There's a little square there. You can cut that out and when you cut a little, when you cut a square in half you end up with a 45 degree angle. All right. So I'll put that here. Line it up. so that it looks just like the picture and make my score line. Okay, so now I'm ready to cut it out completely. And like I said, don't cut out these little triangles here for your final piece because you don't need them. You just needed them for the score lines. Um, something else I want to point out is I have this little piece down here. Well, that's because when I make my when I make when I make what we're doing, oh, well, there it is! <laughs> I opened it up. Uh, the it's the back of this is the front on the part that is on the template. So if you draw a design right here, it's going to be behind. <clears throat> it's going to be behind. You're not going to see it. So you can either just turn it over and draw your design on the back or you can use that little piece below draw your design on and draw your design and then and then glue it onto there okay so that's what this so that's what this piece is down here so that you can have that option. And it's kind of nice because if you sort of mess up in here, you can take that, trace it up here, and then try again. Or like I said, you can do it just on the back of the other piece. There's one more thing that I want to point out. 
of this, which is again, if you if you're making this on making this on your own, you may or may not notice that the line between the corner and the edge of the pop-up is not this is not exactly a 90 degree angle. The line underneath the line slants down a little bit. And that's important because when you open it up, you don't want it to come up so high that it might catch on here. So if this so if this piece here has a little bit of that slant slanting down, then you have a better chance of it staying fully behind this front piece that holds it down. So one more thing. I tried this and I put these little spikes on it and I had to cut them off because the little spikes kept catching uh, on, on this front piece. So uh, if you can, you can cut this out, but just be aware that uh, if you cut it in a way, in a certain way, it might catch and you won't like that. Okay, so that's it. That's it. And uh, yeah, have fun making these. Have fun, have fun pop, seeing things pop up out of there. It's a nice little peekaboo thing.